The Ethernet physical layer is the physical layer functionality of the Ethernet family of computer network standards. The physical layer defines the electrical or optical properties of the physical connection between a device and the network or between network devices. It is complemented by the MAC layer and the logical link layer. The Ethernet physical layer has evolved over its existence starting in 1980 and encompasses multiple physical media interfaces and several orders of magnitude of speed from 1 megabit per second to 400 gigabits per second. The physical medium ranges from bulky coaxial cable to twisted pair and optical fiber. In general, network protocol stack software will work similarly on all physical layers. Many Ethernet adapters and switch ports support multiple speeds by using autonegotiation to set the speed and duplex for the best values supported by both connected devices. While this can practically be relied on for Ethernet over twisted pair, few optical fiber ports support multiple speeds. If autonegotiation fails, some multiple speed devices sense the speed used by their partner, but this may result in a duplex mismatch. With rare exceptions, a 100BASETX port 10100s also supports 10BASET while a 100BASET port 10100s 1000 also supports 10BASET and 100BASETX. A 10GBASET port often also supports 100BASET.10 Gigabit Ethernet was already used in both enterprise and carrier networks by 2007, with 40 gigabits per second and 100 gigabit Ethernet ratified. In 2017, the fastest additions to the Ethernet family were 200 and 400 gigabits per second. Topic. Naming conventions Generally, layers are named by their specifications 10, 100, 1000, 10 G. The nominal, usable speed at the top of the physical layer no suffix. Topic. Megabit, S, G Gigabit, S, excluding line codes but including other physical layer overhead preamble, SFD, IPG, some WANFIS W run at slightly reduced bitrates for compatibility reasons, encoded PHY sublayers usually run at higher bitrates. Base, broad, pass, indicates baseband, broadband, or passband signaling respectively. T, S, L, E, Z, C, K, H. Medium, PMD, T. Topic. Twisted pair, S. 850 nanometers short wavelength multi-mode fiber, L. Topic. 1300 nm long wavelength mostly single mode fiber e or z 1500 nm extra long wavelength single mode b topic bidirectional fiber mostly single mode using wdm p Passive optical pawn, C. Topic Copper Twinax K. Backplane two or five or thirty six. Topic Cokes with one hundred eighty five five hundreds, three thousand six hundred meters reach, obsolete F. Fiber, various wavelengths, H equals plastic optical fiber. X, R, PC's encoding method varying with the generation, X for 8B, 10B block encoding, 4B, 5B for fast Ethernet, R for large block encoding, 64B, 66B. 
1, 2, 4, 10 for land fizz indicates number of lanes used per link, for WAN fizz indicates reach in kilometers for 10 megabits per second, no encoding is indicated as all variants use Manchester code. Most twisted pair layers use unique encoding, so most often just T is used. The reach, especially for optical connections, is defined as the maximum achievable link length that is guaranteed to work when all channel parameters are met modal bandwidth, attenuation, insertion losses etc. With better channel parameters, often a longer, stable link length can be achieved. Vice versa, a link with worse channel parameters can also work but only over a shorter distance. Reach and maximum distance have the same meaning. Topic. Physical layers The following sections provide a brief summary of official Ethernet media types. In addition to these official standards, many vendors have implemented proprietary media types for various reasons, often to support longer distances over fiber optic cabling. Topic. Early implementations Early Ethernet standards used Manchester coding so that the signal was self-clocking and not adversely affected by high-pass filters. <laughs> Fast Ethernet All fast Ethernet variants use a star topology and generally use 4B5B line coding. Topic: 1 gigabit per second. All gigabit Ethernet variants use a star topology. 1000BASEX variants use 8B 10B PCs encoding. Initially, half-duplex mode was included in the standard but has been abandoned since. Very few devices support gigabit speed in half-duplex. Topic: 2.5 and 5 gigabits per second. 2.5 GBase T and 5 GBase T are scaled down variants of 10 GBase T. These physical layers support twisted pair copper cabling only. Topic: 10 gigabits per second. 10 gigabit Ethernet defines a version of Ethernet with a nominal data rate of 10 gigabits per second, 10 times as fast as gigabit Ethernet. In 2002, the first 10 gigabit Ethernet standard was published as IEEE STD 802.3A2002. Subsequent standards encompass media types for single-mode fiber, long-haul, multi-mode fiber up to 400 meters, copper backplane up to 1 meter, and copper twisted pair up to 100 meters. All 10 gigabit standards were consolidated into IEEE STD 802.3-2008. Most 10 gigabit variants use 64B, 66B PCs code R. As of 2009, 10 gigabit Ethernet is predominantly deployed in carrier networks, where 10GBASELR and 10GBASER enjoy significant market shares. Topic: 25 gigabits per second. Single lane 25 gigabit Ethernet is based on 125.78125 GBD lane of the 4 from the 100 gigabit Ethernet standard developed by Task Force P802.3 by 25 GBASET over twisted pair was approved alongside 40 GBASET within IEEE 802.3 BQ. Topic: 40 gigabits per second. 
This class of Ethernet was standardized in June 2010 as IEEE 802.3 BA along with the first 100 gigabits per second generation, with an addition in March 2011 as IEEE 802.3 BG, and the fastest yet twisted pair standard in IEEE 802.3 BQ2016. The nomenclature is as follows. Topic: 50 gigabits per second. The IEEE 802.3 Candela's task force has developed 50 gigabits per second, along with next generation 100 and 200 gigabits per second standards using 50 gigabits per second lanes. Topic: 100 gigabits per second. The first generation of 100G Ethernet using 10 and 25 gigabits per second lanes was standardized in June 2010 as IEEE 802.3 BA alongside 40 gigabits per second. The second generation using 50 gigabits per second lanes has been developed by the IEEE 802.3 Candela's task force along with 50 and 200 gigabits per second standards. The third generation using a single 100 gigabits per second lane is currently being developed by the IEEE 802.3 CK task force along with 200 and 400 gigabits per second FIS and attachment unit interfaces AUI using 100 gigabits per second lanes. Topic: 200 gigabits per second. First generation 200 gigabits per second have been defined by the IEEE 802.3 BS task force and standardized in 802.3 BS 2017. The IEEE 802.3 Candela's task force has developed 50 and next generation 100 and 200 gigabits per second standards using 1, 2, or 4 50 gigabits per second lanes respectively. The next generation using 100 gigabits per second lanes is currently being developed by the IEEE 802.3 CK task force along with 100 and 400 gigabits per second FIS and attachment unit interfaces AUI using 100 gigabits per second lanes. Topic: 400 gigabits per second and beyond. The Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers IEEE has defined a new Ethernet standard capable of 200 and 400 gigabits per second in IEEE 802.3 BS 2017. 1 terabit per second may be a further goal. In May 2018, IEEE 802.3 started the 802.3 CK task force to develop standards for 100, 200, and 400 gigabits per second FIS and attachment unit interfaces AUI using 100 gigabits per second lanes. In 2008, Robert Metcalf, one of the co-inventors of Ethernet, said he believed commercial applications using terabit Ethernet may occur by 2015, though it might require new Ethernet standards. It was predicted this would be followed rapidly by a scaling to 100 terabit, possibly as early as 2020. It is worth noting that these were theoretical predictions of technological ability, rather than estimates of when such speeds would actually become available at a practical price point. <laughs> First mile For providing Internet access service directly from providers to homes and small businesses. Topic. Sublayers Starting with fast Ethernet, the physical layer specifications are divided into three sublayers in order to simplify design and interoperability. PCs physical coding sublayer. This sublayer performs auto-negotiation and basic encoding such as 8B, 10B. 
For Ethernet, the bit rate at the top of the PCs is the nominal bit rate, e.g. 10 megabits per second for classic Ethernet or 1000 megabits per second for gigabit Ethernet. PMA physical medium attachment sublayer this sublayer performs PMA framing octet synchronization detection and x 7 plus x 6 plus 1 display style x caret 7 plus x caret 6 plus 1 scrambling descrambling PMD physical medium dependent sublayer this sublayer consists of a transceiver for the physical medium topic <laughs> twisted pair cable several varieties of ethernet were specifically designed to run over four pair copper structured cabling already installed in many locations in a departure from both 100BASET and 100BASETX, 100BASET and above use all four cable pairs for simultaneous transmission in both directions through the use of echo cancellation. Using point-to-point -point copper cabling provides the opportunity to transmit low electrical power along with the data. This is called power over Ethernet and there are several, incremental IEEE 802.3 standards. Combining 10BASET or 10BASETX with Mode A allows a hub or a switch to transmit both power and data over only two pairs. This was designed to leave the other two pairs free for analog telephone signals. The pins used in Mode B Supply power over the spare pairs not used by 10BASET and 10BASETX. 4PPOE. Defined in IEEE 802.3 BT can use all four pairs to supply up to 100W. The cable requirements depend on the transmission speed and the employed encoding method. Generally, faster speeds require both higher grade cables and more sophisticated encoding. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Minimum cable lengths. Fiber connections have minimum cable lengths due to level requirements on received signals. Fiber ports designed for long-haul wavelengths require a signal attenuator if used within a building. 10BASE2 installations, running on RG58 coaxial cable, require a minimum of 0.5 meters between stations tapped into the network cable, this is to minimize reflections.10 base T, 100BASET, and 100BASET installations running on twisted pair cable use a star topology. No minimum cable length is required for these networks. Topic. Related standards Some networking standards are not part of the IEEE 802.3 Ethernet standard, but support the Ethernet frame format, and are capable of interoperating with it. LatticeNet — a Synoptics pre-standard twisted pair 10 megabits per second variant. 100 Basive an early contender for 100 megabits per second Ethernet. It runs over Category 3 cabling. Uses four pairs. Commercial failure. TIA 100BASESX. Promoted by the Telecommunications Industry Association. 100BASESX is an alternative implementation of 100 megabits per second Ethernet over fiber. It is incompatible with the official 100BASEFX standard. Its main feature is interoperability with 10BASEFL, supporting auto negotiation between 10 megabits per second and 100 megabits per second operation, a feature lacking in the official standards due to the use of differing LED wavelengths. It is targeted at the installed base of 10 megabits per second fiber network installations. TIA 100BASETX 
Promoted by the Telecommunications Industry Association, it was a commercial failure, and no products exist. 1000BASETX uses a simpler protocol than the official 1000BASET standard so the electronics can be cheaper, but requires Category 6 cabling. G.HN a standard developed by ITUT and promoted by HomeGrid Forum for high-speed up to 1 gigabit per second local area networks over existing home wiring coaxial cables, power lines and phone lines. G.HN defines an application protocol convergence APC layer that accepts Ethernet frames and encapsulates them into G.HN MSDUs. Other networking standards do not use the Ethernet frame format but can still be connected to Ethernet using MAC based bridging. 802.11 Standards for wireless local area networks LANs, sold with brand name Wi Fi. 802. 16. Standards for Wireless Metropolitan Area Networks MONTS, sold with brand name WiMAXOther Special Purpose Physical Layers include Avionics Full Duplex Switched Ethernet and T-Tethernet. Time-triggered Ethernet for embedded systems. 802.16.